snitching like a motherfucker, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but look, but to be fair, um, I don't know. I, I think he's not affiliated, but I want to a chronic case of a chronic case of cooperating. <laughs> That's comedy, right? <laughs> but uh, I don't, I don't know, man. I want to get your thoughts. Here's the. Here's the audio from it. It's kind of hard to hear. So for those of you that's watching, like you might want to uh, cut out any background noise if y'all want to hear this. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play this shit. Hold up. Bam. Right. Right. <laughs> that nigga said point blank period. <laughs> Why did you suspect Young Thug? You went down to my because people told you, or did you have some beef with Young Thug at the time? They kind of let you. I ain't had no beef, bro. Hey, she was deep in the rap, man. I really feel like that was jealous of the relationship. I shut up. Because you, you guys seem to be getting along real All right. So what's your thoughts, man? Um, yeah, no, nah, I definitely, I covered this on my page. I was, I was saying like this, I, I don't know who, if that, that video, were they playing a recording? Because that wasn't Rich Homie Quan sitting there on a the chair. So no, nah, I think that was playing a recording. Yeah, so, um, whoever was recording that or whoever put that, put that recording out uh needs to come out and, and speak on that because i'm I'm trying to figure out where because i heard stories about he was he was telling on uh rich homie kwan said that young thug was telling on i mean um, i take that back because young thug was telling too i got i get all these people mixed up because everybody's telling right now but <laughs> they said rich homie kwan was telling on young thug that he put a hit out on uh this dude named nut uh in atlanta who was supposed to be, I believe, a manager for uh, a couple of artists. Uh, right. And he was just like a big figure out there. And he also, he believed, pe- this is alleged, they said that he, Rich Homie Kwan, believes that Young Thug put a hit out on his dad because mm-hmm. of a money dispute they had, which when, when they was in Rich Gang, they broke up. So they're uh, they're saying all these things are the reason why that he, he quote unquote, cooperated Uh and I don't know, man. I, I feel like niggas just <laughs> this, this is all, all this all this this whole hip hop industry, this, this rap industry is all unraveling, and these mm-hmm. niggas are getting exposed for who they really are. Uh, we're right. starting to see, like I was saying, the whole we was talking about the uh, last week. We was talking about the YNW Melly case. We was mm-hmm. talking about uh, Casanova. All these different people who got all these, you know, who are either facing time or have gotten time, uh, and we see is everybody's because everybody's telling gonna right. came out basically getting on everybody's head and uh <laughs> allegedly dropped a better album than than all of every everybody who was saying that he was snitching right. um so what do you <clears throat> what do people say about that it's like do you do you just switch up on the music that you liked and just say he has a shitty album just because he allegedly snitched when you see young thug the person that uh, they're saying that he that got snitched on he allegedly there's a a celebrity uh, detective coming out saying that Young Thug snitched, and then mm-hmm. after you hear about Young Thug snitching, you hear about Rich Homie Quan snitching on Young Thug, and it's crazy. Like, oh, everybody snitching on everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like, who do you? Eventually, it's gonna be like if you're gonna have these standards, you might as well not listen to nobody. Exactly. Yeah, I, I personally think genre, listen to rock and roll or pop or something. Exactly. I think I think well, first and foremost, bro, I think some of these niggas is not really about that life. And they get a little bit of money and they surround themselves around certain niggas. And by default, they by default, I guess they kind of get in that. That's not who they was, but they around these certain people. So now they feel like they have to be part of this activity. But secondly, I want to say, bro, me as a civilian, I don't give a damn if these niggas snitch, bro. That I like like it's expected if a nigga will. All right. Let, let me let me re, let me rewind. bro. let's go back to the rich homie Kwan situation. Right. Is that really, first of all, if we talk about snitching, I don't care if a nigga snitch, by the way, but if we talk about that particular phone call to you, is that snitching? First of all, he ain't talking to the police. He talking to another is person. He? 
It, I don't know. The dude, the dude that was asking him the question sounds like. I mean, not to say like you can just you can tell who a detective is just off of his voice. It sounds like he was on the. the it sounds like he was. He's yeah, go, talking. Go. It sounds like an interrogation. It doesn't sound like because that's uh, like on the video I, I dropped about it. I was saying like oh, this okay. nigga sounds like he's compelled to tell right now. Like he right. he had like he like the way he's saying it is like because he's like oh I, you know I, I don't want I don't want a lot of y'all. Um, yeah. You know I'm not, I'm not lying. or what do you say I'm not snitching. You know I'm just being real with y'all. Right. So it's like, or no, let me quote right. I'm not telling. I'm just being real with y'all. So uh, he obviously feels compelled to say whatever he has to say. Like it's whatever they have uh, holding over his head that, you know, can be something critical. So he right. must be just telling because he's trying to get out of something. That's my only way to, I mean, I, I can, that's the only way I can break it down. I, I don't see a, any other reason why he could, unless he really, like I said, people were saying this stems from him believing that young thug sent uh, people to go shoot at his dad because his dad was telling him not to sign certain deals uh, right. with young thug. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That's some like, Shug Knight shit, or you no? Know, he was telling him not to sign a deal with Birdman. So it's mm. like, if if that's the case, then like I said, Birdman's on Shug Knight shit. This is like death row all over again. <laughs> like you're y'all, you're basically like, oh, if you can't work with me, then I'm gonna make sure you yeah, don't yeah. work with nobody. Right, so, right. Um, yeah, but if know. that was if that was some type of agency, yeah, I consider it snitch. I, I I assumed it was like because the audio quality was bad. I thought it was some type of like a uh, interview or something, but. I guess that is still implicating to an extent, but it's not like I thought. See, snitching. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. This snitching shit is so. It's not black and white as you think, bro. It's like there's there's levels to it, right? I, I've heard from niggas who game bang that snitching is only only if you take the stand and you you know you 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 uh you you, you use a testimony to to implicate or to incriminate somebody in court. I thought that that was snitching, but you being on the phone talking to somebody and then and then and then i forgot what the nigga said he said um i think he said something like uh like there's no evidence of it so how can you snitch when you it's not like you have evidence bro like he, exactly you don't even have evidence you said i i don't know bro i just I think, think that this, if anything makes it snitching the fact that he said <laughs> <laughs> like it's like nigga like you're okay so you just tell it just to, like you trying to get out of some shit so i think that's the only way i mean that's the that's the main reason why it would be snitching in his case because right. it's like nigga you you're saying oh we get we just can't but nigga said we just can't prove it, we just can't prove it. <laughs> so it's like damn so you just say this is just hearsay right now you just yeah. you're basically telling niggas to go look more into that like y'all need right. to go look more into that shit because i mean we can't hey we all know who did that he's like right. He said all the wrong things in that video, but or in that recording. So, uh, and whoever was recording was recording. If he was being interrogated, the fact that that interrogation tape got out means that whoever that was was probably involved with the with, uh, with the department, right. and they leaked it to somebody who uh, we just seen the video. Those are obviously some whole other people that right. were uh, playing that audio. Um, so it just it just got messy real quick and people will do anything even like down to the officials the people that you would think that are supposed to uphold some type of law police and all that shit like that yeah. they'll do certain things and they'll they'll uh let certain information out for for money from uh from these different uh tabloids mm -hmm. and these different sites and bloggers and stuff like that so that way they can get some type of benefit from it that's right. the, you know the, the whole situation um uh, not to not to go too far off the topic, but the whole situation mm -hmm. with King Von and his right. uh, autopsy picture, like you have situations where people will put certain things out that can be harmful. Like right. this can be harmful uh, physically uh, for Rich Homie Quan if people right. think that he's snitching and things like right. that. No, absolutely. And it, can, and it can and it can be harmful for Young Thug situation. So if he was being interrogated by some actual police, um, then. I think that, that I think that they're the they're the people we should be looking at on who leaked that and uh and whether or not it's snitching or not. I definitely right. think that it's snitching. Uh, uh it's, yeah, it's not I necessarily can see, snitching. I could I could definitely see the uh correlation, but somebody who's the civilian, bro. I look look, I'm just I'm just here for the music, nigga. What y'all niggas do, like I, I, I'm able to separate oh yeah real from fake, and I know a lot of these niggas just be talking. The shit sound good to my ears. I don't repeat and I don't 
live by the by the way the music is, but the shit just sound fire, and I'm gonna fuck with the music, and I don't give a damn about you snitching. Yeah, Go for that's it. What that's what I'm telling people. Like they need to get <laughs> they need to get prepared now because it's like if you're gonna have these type of standards and you trying to uphold, it's like oh no, I don't. We don't fuck with no rats or none of that. Then yeah. you gotta you guys gotta be prepared right. for the fact that a lot of y'all favorite rappers are coming out. The truth is coming out. Eventually, ev- like you said, it's funny you said that because I think eventually you're gonna see nigga, it ain't gonna be no more music to listen to because all these niggas gonna be <laughs> time, have some paperwork that just came out that he was uh that dude, what's his name? 1090 Jake. He he's he's exposing shit all day. I, I heard there was some paperwork on 1090 Jake, by the way. I, I don't know yeah, that like when to... Hunter was saying that, bro. Like, yeah. oh, I heard you. He's like, Where's your paperwork at? You know what I mean? There are yeah, yeah. some allegations about the nigga that like to expose all these snitches. He was snitching himself, which is hilarious, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he said he, he said he made he made like a, a million dollars off of doing that, exposing people's paperwork. Uh, so, bro, I think like, he, he was saying he was all making... the shit that's coming out with all these people. That's that's where it's coming out from. Like right. he's putting out their paperwork for Damn. these two times. They probably hey, hey, that nigga need to watch his back though, because you know it's some niggas out there that yeah. want to get him. You you put yeah. niggas business out there that otherwise and does the same shit up. too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, I feel like yeah, Wack, I, 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 is Wack untouchable, bro? I, I, just real quick, is he untouchable? Because he be doing some wild shit. How the fuck nah, nobody touch him yet, bro? I don't think he's untouchable, like he nigga. It, I don't think it's ever convenient for anybody to uh to go up against this nigga physically. Like, yeah. like I, 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 I listen to their, uh, I follow their clubhouse and 100 ENT. Um, you know, I fuck with a lot of their content. Um, I fuck with whack in, in certain ways as far as like certain things that I see that he's that he's doing. Um, but do I think he's untouchable? Nah, because I mean, one, nobody is, yeah, uh, especially yeah. in L- especially in L.A. where uh, out where, where he's six, at. six, nine ain't untouchable, nigga. Yeah, exactly. So you see, it, <laughs> it seems like it seems like that nigga's invincible. Really, I don't think it's never really can like whenever a lot of the times a lot of these people just be trolling just so they can get some type of attention. Um, and end up exposing themselves and then the other half of people who actually will do something i think like yeah. if they actually seen whack it's not ever really convenient like either exactly. they're way off somewhere where it's not even doesn't matter or if they are in in la it's more of a situation where he's telling them like oh come come over here to this address and it's like nobody's really i mean i'm not gonna say nobody's really doing that because niggas are doing that but <laughs> right. pulling up to other people's houses but i'm saying if you're smart, you wouldn't do no shit like that. You wouldn't pull up to nobody's house, especially when they invite you to do that exactly. uh, for some violence. That's not what, like that's not wise to do. Not at all. It, it's not at all. Anything can happen, and then now, now you're if if they get you out the way, now you're gone out the way, and they and they're off, and 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 mm-hmm. basically they won. So yep. it's like. Yep. Um, All they gotta do is say self defense. Oh, the nigga yeah. was on my property. Oh. He he. You know. He, look at these. Look so at these online think- shit. Him threatening me. Yeah, you know? I don't think niggas really want to do that. Like, I don't think it's ever a situation because I've seen, I've seen, and I, I don't really like. I, I I'm not a moderator or nothing. Like, I don't. I'm not too deep into the clubhouse thing. Like, I usually watch like clips on YouTube and shit like that. Same. But like, um, I do have a clubhouse and I do like going to rooms every now and then. But yeah. from what I see, like, I don't know how they control it and moderate it. It's like because I've seen certain situations where some niggas be like. You know, telling whack like you know, like where you at? Like I'm about to like, or yeah. or they'll tell him like, oh, I'm over here, and they'll give a specific location, and he'll be mm-hmm. like, nigga, send me, send me the pin, send me the location, whatever. This is snap, right. and then he'll be like, if I don't pull up, somebody else will, and yeah. he'll. It, it's like he, it's like he's 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 good, and I think he does it for entertainment. I'm, I don't think he. Yeah, does I think it so too. I think so. I don't too. think he does for it so. because he's scared or he, um, is like you know he's trying to avoid anything. I think he's doing it because he knows he's it's entertainment and he he's knows trolling. how to flip the narrative to make it look a certain right. way to where niggas are like, whoa, because I'll be watching certain shit. And I'll be like, this nigga sound like he really want to like he really want to see whack like. Right. But that, but then you you don't know. You can't tell if niggas are muting them and he's like, you know, because they'll be like, nigga, where are you at? And then the nigga will all of a sudden go completely quiet. Right. And it'll right, be right. like, nigga, he was just going off. It's like why how how is it that everybody who goes off on you as soon as you like it gets real mm-hmm. you, they all of a sudden mute up and yeah, i'm like yeah. i don't i don't necessarily <clears throat> think that's the case because they'll come up sometimes they'll come back up and they'll be like stop muting me whoop de whoop and then right. when, it'll be so many people on a, it's, it's a gang of them niggas on the on the hundred they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna come they're gonna get you uh they're gonna pack what they call pack you out 
and yeah. they're gonna get you up out of there. Uh, and and you'll just have a whole bunch of people just 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 trolling you. So it's not really beneficial for you to like. That's his platform, really. Right. Like you can't really get on there and say shit about the nigga without having everybody start digging into who you are, finding out who you are, and <laughs> ruining your life. Facts. As far as your 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 not your, I mean. They can ruin your real life too because they be throwing paperwork parties and shit like that and be exposing people right. to certain people. But um, definitely they'll ruin your if you're doing any type of media or anything, they'll ruin your shit on there. So be careful on that on that clubhouse yeah. shit, fucking around with that hunting flow. Uh, you mm-hmm. heard it here from me. <laughs> uh, and, you know, shouts out to Whack with Hunting and everybody on the hunting flow. I, you know, like I said, I su- I support the. I see what they're what they're doing over there. I support the content. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I don't necessarily think he's untouchable, but I don't I don't think he's ducking anything. Um, but I also, like I said, I don't think that he's uh I don't think he takes this shit as serious as these other niggas do. Like he he knows how to build the content. Right. Yep, I agree. I agree. 